Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are a minimalist family of seven who are living big with less. And today I'm gonna to get to talk to you about something that I get lots and lots of comments about, which is how to manage clothes. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I go through and declutter our wardrobe and change out for the new season very quickly and efficiently. I used to absolutely dread going through our closets to change out from summer to winter. Here where we live in Australia, we really only have two seasons. It goes from ridiculously hot to mildly cool. So what I've done is I have refined the process that I go through to swap out all of our clothes where I use a wave system where I go through a few times and just pick out the clothes that aren't suiting our needs anymore or aren't fitting anymore and also what I don't have matches for. So as a rule of thumb I try and keep as many plain colored bottoms as I can and that way the shirts match most things. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and how I make it really fast. So this whole process took me under half an hour for seven of us because I've streamlined the process and I hope that you find some tips that help you. So the first thing I'm doing is just getting out any new clothes and then I am just going to do a full go through of the wardrobe, just picking out anything that is glaringly obvious, too small, got a stain, anything like that. But I want to move as quickly as possible and just make decisions based on what they're going to be wearing in the new season. The key here is speed, do it quickly so that you're making those snap decisions because we're gonna come back and go through it all a few more times. It's just that first initial, are they wearing it? Do we still need it? So then I'm going through anything that I've put aside for the new seasons or for them to grow into and I'm doing a pile of stuff that I'm going to move into our wardrobe to be used, stuff that is leaving and stuff that is we're keeping but it's not for right now. Now I have looked at most of the stuff, I'm going to start the next wave, which is starting to put stuff away and then make more decisions knowing what I've already got to put in. Now this is a great way of doing it because you know what stuff you've got to go in now and you can take out anything that's not going to have a lot of matches or that's not going to be... Um, that you've already got enough of from the stuff that you're adding in. So the purpose of doing this wave by wave is that you're not trying to make three lots of decisions at once, you're just making one decision at a time with the new information each time. Now I'm just going through that basket and checking if there's anything in here that I want to keep for a little one to grow into rather than let go completely. So again, the purpose of 
sectioning off these things makes it way easier to make decisions because I'm not trying to make all the decisions in one go. I'm just making a decision on that item for the space where it currently is. Now our teenager or our soon to be teenager has literally growing like a bean. So a lot of his clothes needed to go and you might be in a similar circumstance. So I'm just moving through and getting rid of anything that is the wrong size. And this also allows me to pick up any holes we have in our wardrobe because I am decluttering organizing and adding the new clothes in all at the same time, I'm able to really stay, take stock of what we have, what we need and what we're ready to let go of. My husband and I, we have already really pared down wardrobe, so ours are super fast. But for the kids, they're constantly changing size. This is a great method. And because I'm doing everyone's at once, if you have kids that are similar in age and size, this is a great way to do it because you're able to move size between children if you need to without putting it away or just add in those new items straight away. I often get asked, do I have a number system? As in, do we keep a certain number of clothes or a certain number of outfits? And I have found that that just doesn't work very well for our family because we use a lot of hand-me-down items and that sort of thing. It really does fluctuate. So as you can see, there's a lot more of my two-year-old's clothes than anybody else's. But the simple fact is I know he's going to wear through a lot of those clothes. He's probably going to stain some. And so some extra clothes in his wardrobe are really handy. And he'll also grow faster than everybody else. So there'll be sort of bigger size two items here that he won't, he's not yet grown into. But they're all ready for me to use. And I know exactly what we've got coming up. And nothing gets missed because I don't know that he's already grown into it because it's in a box somewhere else. Now this last wave is just like that double check. Have, have how many items do we have? Is there anything I've missed? Okay guys, so now I have been through everybody's clothes and here is my final basket. This is my basket of clothes that someone is going to grow into um, or for out of season items or things that they might wear again in the summer. And this is my pile of clothes that we no longer need. So either there's not a child to grow into it, something is too worn out for our wardrobe or it's got a stain that I couldn't remove or it's just not something that our kids like to wear. So all of this is going. This is staying and I just put it in the bottom of my cupboard. That way if I need it at any time, it's really quick and easy to grab. And I can also add to it if I get any new items and I don't have to re-wash anything because it's just living in our normal cupboard where the rest of our clothes live. So I hope that this video has inspired you to maybe swap out your clothes, whether you're ready, getting ready for winter or summer and that you might be able to use this wave system to get through really quickly and efficiently. If you're new here, we would absolutely love to have you subscribe. Here's some of our latest videos if you'd like to check them out. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like it and I will catch you guys in the next one.